they aren't taking adequate steps to protect the privacy of people. Arthur Stewart says he had no idea a product he returned to Amazon would end up in this Scarborough discount store. He says it's not an issue it's being resold, but it is an issue, he says, that the shipping label showing his name, home address, and phone number wasn't removed. That to me is open territory for scammers and fishers to be able to exploit those things. I visited two of the discount store's locations where I saw 36 packages with shipping labels containing personal information. Two thirds were Amazon returns. It was unclear where the rest of the items were returned to. Then we bought some packages and worked to track down some of the customers whose items had been returned to the stores. It wasn't very hard to find them given that their names, addresses, and in some cases, phone numbers were right there visible on the boxes. I was recently shopping at a discount store. I came across a box with a shipping label that includes your name, address, and phone number. Oh, that's not great. No, I assumed that they would at least take my, my information off. How do you feel about your personal information being exposed like this? I don't like it. Just having your information out there for anybody to access if, if I don't want them to. I don't, I don't care for that. Ontario's former privacy commissioner says it's a privacy breach. The personal identifiers linked with anything without their consent, which is obviously the case here, can cause at times unbelievable harm to those individuals. As online shopping has grown, so have the amount of products being returned. This lecturer says returns can be expensive and challenging for Amazon and its third party sellers to manage. These things are outweighed by a fast and effective process for just getting rid of the product. An Amazon spokesperson says it sells to liquidators who are supposed to remove customers' personal information before they in turn resell packages to discount stores. And that the online giant is now launching an internal investigation. Meanwhile, the Office of Canada's Federal Privacy Commissioner says it will also look into the issue. All these organizations, I know they have privacy policies and practices in place, but, you know, they should be taking a, a, a constant look at how they do business and how they can continue to improve the way in which they protect the privacy of their clients and customers. As for the store that sells the returned items, the owner says he'll hire more staff to make sure people's personal information is no longer visible. Ryan Patrick-Jones, CBC News, Toronto.